Hey, I'm glad you came back, and I hope you can understand what I'm saying. I'm talking about father renewing of the mind, or that or when I say the word, it's a mind game. What I'm trying to say is that our mind must be transformed. Our mind must be renewed. And, and, and in this world, the, 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 when I'm talking about it's a mind game, I'm, I'm really talking about the fact is that there's a lot of things going on in this world that tries to impact our way of thinking or how our mind views life. Uh, I, mean, we, I mean, it's very simple what we're talking about with advertisements on billboards, uh, what goes on in the social media, uh, the, the books and things that we read, all those things, and then the people we even deal with, all those things are, are, are impacting the way we see life and view life. And, and it's very important for us to understand how God see things. That's why they and, and, and move and renewing our mind toward the thinking and the, and the will of God. That's what he said, you know, Isaiah he said, my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways are not your ways. So when we start looking and thinking the way the world thinks, think what other people think, instead of thinking the way God thinks, that's when we come into a problem. And that's where we have to set our minds toward how God thinks. When we do that, we start looking at one another as children of God. And we start looking even at this world that we're given dominion to, to, to shape this world and protect this world from things, from the environment, anything else. So it is important for us to understand that though our outward man perish, our inward man is renewed day by day. So I hope you're getting ready for Christmas. And you should be ready because Jesus is the reason for the season. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again. Amen. God bless. We were still made in God's image and God's life. Wait a minute, what do you say? What do you say? No, I'm not saying that there was a need. No, no, no. Now explain what you said. Yeah, I'm not. Man was made in God's image yes, sir. and God's likeness. Uh -huh. So prior to God saying no graven image, okay, you know, fashioned yes, after me, right? Would it be then okay to look up on Himself? Not saying that you're talking about man, an image of a man, okay, right? Before the fall, okay, since it was made in God's image, right? And God's Likeness. Okay. Now you're talking about if he made an image, you're talking about like a statue or like a pagan yes. thing? Yes. The, the problem that God had, because you know you got statues all over the place now, right? But are you talking about a statue that they worship? Because that's the point we're talking about. When they yeah. made those no, not, not to, to, to worship, worship. Just, just an image. Yeah. He said, as long as you're not making an image of God. He said, don't make no image <clears throat> and bow down before those images. Oh, and I understand that, but prior to that, God's no, but, saying that. Yeah, but he's, he's still saying God is God, right? In other words, you, what I'm saying is the images we're talking about with the pagans and stuff, Yeah. they were talking about images saying this is our God. Yes. No, so then what I'm saying is that if you, even prior to the fall of Adam, you well, better not put nothing to say this is. But then again, like, like, <laughs> the hypothetical is thrown out <laughs> because yeah. Adam saw the image. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was walking with God, so right. there was no need for it. Yeah, yeah, but God was there. Right. But, but that was a question. I think it's a pretty good point to make. Because he said he heard him. He heard the Spirit of God yeah. walking in God. He said he saw it. Yeah, and Jesus true. himself says that no man has no ever seen God. Ever seen. The scriptures say that God is a spirit. God is a spirit. So you can't you can't visually <laughs> See him not with what we're accustomed, how we're accustomed to seeing him anyway. And I think that kind of well, that's we, we got to go back because we've seen they've seen angels. Yes, sir. But they manifested in some manner or another. They've seen the angel of God. That's not, that's mentioned in the spirit. Right. But there was, but the, he says God is the spirit. What yes, does the sir. spirit look like? Yeah. And when we start thinking about conforming ourselves to His image, or uh -huh. we conform to His image, 
what are we thinking about? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? How, how does that look to be conformed to the image of God? Is my head going to get bigger? Am my nose going to be smaller? Yeah. Or is it going to affect my external um, appearance, period? Yeah. Is it something that, can you see electricity? I mean, can, well, you can see arcing, but can you see uh, yes. a magnetic field? But did 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 now we film both? But what but what did what what, 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 did, what did John see when he went into <laughs> the third heaven? He saw. See, I said he saw the the, yeah. the 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 shapes and figures of things. John and, and John tried to explain what he saw. So I, I don't think there's not there's something you can't see, but it just says there's a difference between what's physically yeah. seen and what's spiritually the, the, the real reality of life. Yeah, let me, right. throw, let me throw something. Can else. I say this just Go right ahead. before? The only reason I brought that up <laughs> was because it started off by saying. Yeah, we started off. Corruptible man. Yes, sir. It, it said corruptible man. Right, which goes with 5 3, ain't it? Genesis 5 3. We, this is what we took it before you came in, uh, Bishop. Yeah. 5 3. We say we, we move from the made from the image of God to 5 3. The, the Adam made something of his image. Yeah. Right? And his own, then it was back there again too, his own likeness. After his image. Not after God's image, but after his image. I think that's the first corruptible <laughs> piece right there because man was corrupted, man was dead. He was already a bad image, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Adam became an image of Satan. What? But, of Lucifer, didn't he? No, that's just dead he, spirit. He fell. I was a dead spirit, right? Just, Isn't that just, what Lucifer was? But yeah, he was a he was a fallen angel, yeah. But I said man was made in the image of God, and I'm saying he died, he separated from God yeah. because of spiritual, right? And then we're just talking about how they we saw the five the image of Adam, the likeness well, of Adam. But and then I think that falls in line with Romans one twenty three. But when we start off, we were saying God does not look at. What? Not the the con right, but see, I'm not even. I see. I think that's what we're not really focusing. Now, but see, when when they did in Romans one twenty three, they are talking about changing the image to something incorruptible. Yes. Now, that, that may not have necessarily been pagan rituals, little statues, or something, but still, just the image yeah. of God. But look at verse twenty. So read eight twenty nine now, and then we keep. Then we keep going. Okay. Romans 8, 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, uh -huh. that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Amen. So now we're talking... We're going back spiritually. Yes. Amen. To, to hear the image of his dear son. Yes. The first son he had, because he fell, that's why he was producing people like Seth and everything else, yeah. right? Jesus came... So that we can be conformed to back to that spiritual image. A live image. I keep thinking about the fact that there's a live image. Right? Yeah. Meaning it's connected image yeah. with God. Because yeah. if I was in my own life, you must be born again. Yeah. And only way you'll be born again is by being born again being connected to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. and, and therefore, if you don't have a relationship with God, you're not born again. You still separated. When, when Jesus was praying the prayer, he said that then we might be one. Then, yeah. Then they may be one, even as you and I are one. And then he talked about him being in God and God being in him and us being in them. And so it seemed like this, and I think we talked about this several several months ago about the oneness. That's the yeah. the the intent is to bring about that oneness again yeah. that we had with the Father initially. Right. And when we when the sin came in and we breached that relationship and that's death. Uh -huh. We cut off from the Father is to be dead. So when Jesus came back, when Jesus came, his works reunited the relationship. I mean we reestablished a reconciled relationship. And so we've been given the gospel reconciliation. Right. And I think, you know, what the reason I brought it up a couple of weeks ago, we, we asked that question, what image are we supposed to be conforming to? And we know right now we're talking about spirit. Mm -hmm. But then, like Jim was talking a couple of weeks ago, as though there's some characteristics that, that, that shows that court transformation, yeah. right? That compassion of God, I guess, like the fruits of the spirit. Oh, Jesus had characteristics. Yeah. Come on now. That, that 
that people knew it was him. Right. Must be the son of God. Oh, come on, man. Uh -uh. You know, he don't even need to hear us talk. He knows what, what we're going to say before we even say it. There was characteristics that were quite different than the average man. Okay. That that even made the average person see. see. The demons knew who he was mm -hmm. and spoke through him. But are you are you Vessels. are you alluding to the fact that those were physical? I'm alluding to the fact or was that it they his, were. What is was it his? I'm going to use the word aura. Aura. I don't have continent, a better word. I think continent. But but yeah. like when somebody comes into a room, there are some people yeah. who can come into a room yeah. and not be noticed. Yeah. yeah. Or they can be rejected because you know the way we are. Yeah. Or they can command attention just by their aura. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and while we're discussing this, I'm going to throw this out before I forget because this is the part. In, uh, in uh, Isaiah 53, yeah. um, <laughs> verse 2, you found it? Yeah, yeah there we go. Amen. <laughs> this, it says here, for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. Mm -hmm. He hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. And that's what I was trying to bring up earlier. Mm. That the, you know, it's, it's, he, you know, I think we talked about the, the images that are out there now, and I get it, we all get it, hey, this nice looking individual, nice long hair, you know, skin nice like this, you know, he, he kind of got that, he wasn't short, yeah he was not too tall, just tall enough, you see what I'm getting at, right. you know, standing upright, and that's, he, he, from what I gather, secularly, <laughs> you know, worldly, he wasn't, an attractive person that you would all of a sudden, you know, boom, man, I, I just can't take my eyes off of him. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He wasn't that kind of person. Okay. However, yes. his his character, and I think when 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 our spirit, yes, because everybody, you know, when he walked by, it's not like everybody just kind of fell all over the place. There was something about being in that proximity, yes, sir. of him. Right. And when you were either ready to receive or something in the the, the, the character or the nature of us uh, responds to that, mm. and that's kind of where, where, where my head is at, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, um, I'll give you an example. This may be way off, but it I remember be. one time, long time ago, man, this girl, beautiful girl, beautiful, beautiful, right? Beautiful. But when you got to know her, love this person, you'll be in your life. Yeah, you know, all, all, all those physical attributes that you have mean yeah. nothing yeah. because your aura, your characteristics, once people get to know you, you ain't, yeah. and, and, and through and through, you know? Yeah. And, or you can take someone else who may be calmly, but because of their nature, their character, how they speak to you, the way that they just kind of flow, the, the, the sincerity and who they are, and, and, and the fact that you know that you mean more to them than they make mean to themselves, right? that makes that person attractive. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. that's kind of where, where, where I'm at. But don't get the fact is that, see, all the things you try, even to talk about what reference Jesus, the outward appearance is something that is paradigmal, as we read, perishing day by day. Amen. So that is not the, 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 the focus That's right. of, of the outward appearance. That's right. And then we're talking about even when, when uh, God told Samuel, you looking at this continent, uh, the statue of this person, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm right. looking at the, I'm looking at the heart, heart mm -hmm. the spirit of the man, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's what's more important. And even when they said that the, the, when they saw Jesus and they said that maybe he didn't look uh, contractive or whatever, that wasn't even important. Right. The important was, his, like you said, that spirit. Right. I remember when, when, when the guards came and talked to Jesus, because the Pharisees said, go get him. <laughs> and he said, I'm not ready yet. Mm -hmm. and, and they went back to the Pharisees. <laughs> and when they said, I'm, they said, hey, ain't nobody no, talking like that before. <laughs> 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 How come you still say that? So we want, we want to really get down to the, and I think even for the body of Christ is the understanding that the image we're really trying to portray is that inward image, that spiritual image, mm -hmm. walking in the power and the anointing of God. Because even this scripture, read that for us real quick, because that was get, this to say something, so we we'll make sure we get in there. All right, there. 1 Corinthians 15, 49, and as we have borne the image of the earthly, see? 
we shall also bear the image of the heaven. Come on, there. are you with me, Brother Isaac? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it, it's all in there. We, we are moving, mm -hmm. and we're supposed to be transforming to the spiritual image, mm -hmm. the heavenly image. Mm -hmm. And the people, I think, people, go ahead. So, so is that mean? That's what we that's what we want. That's what that's what the conversation is about. What's that talking about? It's, go ahead from your perspective, because I'm sitting there saying is he's saying is you bore that physical outward appearance. Mm -hmm. But he said, but we also bear the inward spiritual heavenly appearance. You can't, can't but that coming on that bearing board. is like holding. Holding? Okay. Bore that thing. Wearing. Yeah. You know. You said bear the image, yeah. So you're 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 born earthly, earthly, yes. But you're like putting on the image of the heavenly. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's, it's, it, you, we're we're no longer originally born. Come on now, come on. The second uh -huh. birth uh -huh. Uh -huh. is when you're bearing. Come on now. The image of the heavenly. Is, is that more like saying like they'll put on the whole armor of God? Yes. That's what I'm saying. If you're talking about bearing or yeah. carrying, he said put on the whole armor of God. The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. So when, when you said this, you know, I, I listened to the conversation and I, and I, I can identify with the fact that sometimes we just have to acknowledge what we don't know. Well, what, I, what I often find when we start talking about this thing is that our concept of image has been perceived, I perceive it, maybe I'm not, not making something about beautiful, but I look at image, I look at something that is outward and visible. Mm, okay. Okay. Our problem is. Yeah. Is that we don't know that when God talks about image, right? That He may be talking about something that is unseen and invisible, and so it messes up our concept. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, and we lost. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Apparently, apparently, image for Him is not something outward. It, exactly. Right. I'm not really sure that image for him uh -huh. is something that has form. I, I, I agree. Ben is so, all so, so when we start talking about image, we get jacked up. <laughs> we do! Right! So, so, <laughs> so we just go, what are you talking about? <laughs> that, now here's the other thing. The other thing is, I am, I am beginning to get tuned to some very, to a very difficult truth for me mm. regarding all of this. Yeah. But the question I have for you is, so what difference is that going to make in how you live when you walk out of your door? Exactly. Right. Because that's what the equipment is about here yeah. anyway, right? That's, that's the thing. That's the question. That's, 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 that's the time we come in here. So Jesus said, man, so not live by prayer alone, but by every word. Every word. You need to rest assured that there is something in this that is essential mm -hmm. to transform living. Yeah. That when we really see it mm -hmm. and really receive what God is saying, mm -hmm. it is going to shape us differently mm -hmm. and cause us to walk differently. Mm -hmm. That's what you're after. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm mean? See, God, God isn't just God didn't just give us inspired scriptures and move these men to write and, and send Christ into the world. He has a purpose behind, behind the, behind, the singing of Christ is a monumental move on God's part. Mm. The fact that he came, mm -hmm. it, it, when, when John said the word was made flesh, yes. we, all, we all start right there and just, just, just yeah. look, God, if we really understood it, because that means that God is, God is now seeking to fulfill something that he had in his heart mm. from the very beginning. Yes, sir. In other words, we, we, we grapple with the text 
trying to conform the text to what we perceive, yes, sir. rather than let the text shape us. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Under what God is saying. Right. You, you follow? Yeah. Yeah. And so, on one side we have a discussion that's good, but on the other side we walk out and live differently. You, you see the difference? Yes, mm -hmm. there's a big difference. I'm getting old now, I'm realizing, I, listen, I, I want to walk out a little, I almost something to happen to me that I see things different. Yes, sir, yes, that sir. That I process things differently. Right. That I respond differently than the day before I came in here. Exactly, exactly. You follow me? Come on now. This is what, this is what this thing is really all about. And see, so, th the reason that he didn't want a physical thing, huh. because God is living. It, it was a, listen, it was nothing dead. Yes, sir. Come on, man. And you want you to make something he criticized the, the Jew to cut down a tree, overlay it in gold, attach it to something, yeah. and then you gotta pick it up and carry it. Yeah, right. But he but he said, I can let it go. Yes, sir. And so anything that is born of God has to be living. Mm. And so you ain't gotta make nothing. I got images all over, I got images all over the planet. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> and, if, and if you let me form you to my own image, you won't even think about making that there because you you realize you become the image of God. Mm. You follow? Me? Yes, sir. And so I'm looking at this thing, man. We we we. Wait, listen, man. Listen. Well, you got much time here. Mm. We don't. Amen. This thing, this thing, you know, last week was December the first. <laughs> I know it. Yeah. I was about to tell him. Yeah. Last week was December the first. Yeah. Now we for the air curtain, man. This twenty some days just shot by. Big time. And the older you get, the more time you begin to pick up people. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. We all, with all these people talking about God working on me, we're in progress. I understand what you're saying, but 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 you be, you can say that thirty years from now, and ain't nothing change. Right. I'm in a place now, I'm realizing, God is saying, you gotta redeem the time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Grab hold of it. Oh, the days are evil. Yeah. yeah. How do you get to that place? You know, I think that um, you know, when we start to focus on what it is that we're supposed to be fixing, or we're supposed to be being changed, it's a lot, you can't see the process is simpler, but at least we're focusing our energies in the right place. Um, to realize that we're supposed to be being reconfigured spiritually, Right. It is, uh, it, I mean, just to know that, and now we can go from there to trying to figure out how do we get reconfigured spiritually. You know, what actions do we have to take in order to, one of the things that we saw initially was that everybody thought it was an external manifestation, that it was something that you were doing that was going to make you righteous or unrighteous. As we look at the spirit, from a spiritual perspective, we realize it's not what you're doing. Because I thought, the priests were holy because they walked around like this. Or that they had the black robes on with the collars and stuff like that. And we, as we grow in this thing, we realize that external presentation doesn't really mean much. Mm. If it's only external presentation. Yes, it it has to be yeah. motivated by something that's happened in Internal. you. Internal, yeah. And we have had to be spiritually reconfigured. Yeah. And so how did that happen? How, does, how do we go about that process? What do we need to do? How does God affect that in us? Think about it. Is it possible? It, it, is it possible with God? In the heart and the mind of God? That love could be part of the image. Yes, sir. Huh? God. Oh, God. Huh? I think it's that connection with it. Okay, I'm thinking about this now. See, see, we, we got given this, this physical thing. Uh -huh. and, and God is God, like, I ain't thinking that way. I ain't thinking physical thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so when love is allowed to work through you, it expresses something that can be seen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, yes. But when, 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 when compassion. Mm. Is allowed to work through you, it expresses something can be seen. Mm. But the thing that can be, can be seen is not the thing itself. 
The thing is behind the expression is the thing. So now you get into the very attributes of God Himself. Well, it, for forgiveness be part of the image. Could could <laughs> oh, could deny yourself be part of the image. You see, all of these things Jesus evidenced because they were alive and a part of who he actually is. Mm -hmm. And when they're expressed, we can see the thing. But you see, I am convinced that God is not interested in one iota and you, and you conceive of him in some kind of form. Yeah, come on, man. Come he on. is in that. Right. Yeah. That, he, that is the least thing on him up. Amen. No boundary, right. right. But 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 when we inwardly see, and I think how you the way you get conformed, see, I'm thinking, you see, God has to come get inside of us mm -hmm. to do this conforming thing. Yes, sir. Bring and he couldn't be with us. Yeah. He had to be in us. Yes. And so in us, the surrender of self. But self loses any self-interest, loses its own will, and now become primal, and God starts taking you, your soul, and starts shaping you according, and start packing you around himself. That will be done. <laughs> Come on, man. Huh? He starts packing you onto himself. Yes, sir. So that you so that what, what happens now, when he comes through you, is he only come through and not you. Come on. Because that's what he said. That, see, Jesus, see. Because that, that brings up. You know, put on the whole armor. Come on now. So that God can put on the whole image of you. Yes, sir. I look at the fact to say, great as he is in us, great as he is in me, that he is in the world. That 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 follows with that scripture, right? That's what he said, what's in us. Jesus it manifests. The scripture said, Paul said in Corinthians, that God was in Christ. In Christ. Come on. Reconciling the world Woo. to himself. Come on. And then he says to Philip. Listen, if, if you see me, uh huh, you have. There was scripture when he was walking with them and he was stopping and yeah. they didn't know who he was. Yeah. Well, physically, he was in front of them. Yeah. But they couldn't tell who he was until they reflected on what he was saying. He said, Did not heart burn in us. Burn. So there, there was, when he came back, as soon as he could manifest due configurations, yes, sir. you know he was the same person and they couldn't receive it. Right. In one case they said the eyes were open and they didn't know who he was until he left. So the, the, in the Old Testament we deal with the external portion yeah. of our being. In the New Testament we're dealing with the internal, internal. and the spiritual part yeah. of our being. Right. In the Old Testament we go to the gym and get bigger and get stronger, but in the New Testament what gym do we go to? Yeah. And the more we keep playing with this thing, I say playing with I mean playing with it, I mean more we're considering it, right. uh, contemplating it, it really seems like you are truly what you think. Yeah. It's what's going on in your head that forms you. You know, what's going on in your spirit, what's affecting your mind, right. and what's happening, what's, how you're thinking is your configuration. It is, yeah. We, we, we talked last week, did a quick. First, the other scripture was saying that the, the God, invisible God, was, God is with a Colossians right there, 115, mm -hmm. who is the image of the invisible God. The firstborn of every creature. And and this is what we did last week is this one right here. Uh, yeah. what we said, what is it, what is that that we said day by day? First of all, we talked about what you just said, Elder, about we because we believe the first birth of uh second Corinthians four thirteen. We have the same spirit of faith, according as it's written, I believe and therefore I have spoken. We also believe, and therefore we speak. Because you were talking about that, you, you just mentioned that about the fact what, you, what, what you're thinking, what's coming out of your head. Then in verse 16, you read that 16, that lines up the, the other piece of that. We've got to think not. See? Though our outer man perish, yet the inward man renewed day by day. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> That's it.